December 4, God's character vindicated. Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Revelation 15, 3. Every question of truth and error in the long-standing controversy has now been made plain. The results of rebellion, the fruits of setting aside the divine statutes, have been laid open to the view of all created intelligences. The working out of Satan's rule in contrast with the government of God has been presented to the whole universe. Satan's own works have condemned him. God's wisdom, his justice, and his goodness stand fully vindicated. It is seen that all his dealings in the great controversy have been conducted with respect to the eternal good of his people and the good of all the worlds that he has created. The history of sin will stand to all eternity as a witness that with the existence of God's law is bound up the happiness of all beings he has created. With all the facts of the great controversy in view, the whole universe, both loyal and rebellious, with one accord declare, Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Before the universe has been clearly presented the great sacrifice made by the Father and the Son in man's behalf, the hour has come when Christ occupies his rightful position and is glorified above principalities and powers, and every name that is named. It was for the joy that was set before him that he might bring many sons unto glory, that he endured the cross and despised the shame, and inconceivably great as was the sorrow and the shame, yet greater is the joy and the glory. He looks upon the redeemed, renewed in his own image, every heart bearing the divine, perfect impress of the divine, every face reflecting the likeness of their king. He beholds in them the result of the travail of his soul, and he is satisfied. Then in a voice that reaches the assembled multitudes of the righteous and the wicked, he declares, Behold the purchase of my blood, for these I suffered, for these I died, that they might dwell in my presence throughout eternal ages. And the song of praise ascends from the white-robed ones about the throne. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Revelation 5.12 